Welcome to the Toy Rewind Podcast with your hosts, the Brothers Newland. Now, let's talk toys. I'm Michael. I'm John. And I'm Andrew. And this week, you're listening to the Toy Rewind. Well, not, not this week. You're listening to the Toy Rewind podcast. <laughs> I tried to mix these two lines up. Uh, this is just a little place where the three of us like to get together and talk about retro toys, some from our childhood, some not so much. This week, I don't think this one was from our childhood, but we're rewinding back to 1985 and looking at the keepers that were released by Tonka. It, it is from our childhood, but we didn't have right. any. So. It's not for, yeah, it's, it's from we didn't when have we were any. kids, but we didn't have any. Uh, so more just retro for us. Um, interesting, interesting things. But, uh, you know, we'll figure out all that. John, before we can do all that, you got to do your thing. All right. So look us up over at our websites over at toyrewindpodcast at gmail.com. Wait, I said that wrong. That's our uh, email. <laughs> Give me a second. Look our websites over at toyrewindpodcast.com. Uh, you can go to acrossthestreamsmedia.com also and look us up on there. If you do that, you can leave us a voicemail if you'd like to. Uh, our email address is toyrewindpodcast at gmail.com. There we go. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch is all Toy Rewind Pod. Facebook and YouTube is Toy Rewind Podcast. Uh, and then, like always, if you want to play a little game listening to us, uh, I guess there's a new square we can put in there i mess up my my part of this uh but you can go to podcastbingo.com backslash toy rewind (laughs) and play a little bingo game there you go there you go at least you caught your mistakes and you got through it (laughs) i was like wait a minute (laughs) it's all good um all right before we start talking about these anything new going on anything toy related i know michael's been doing some uh some findings Yeah, we went to, uh, Randy and I went to uh, Canton uh, Trades Day uh, yesterday, um, and I did pick up a few things. She picked up a couple of things. Um, I brought home this, and I knew it was Bandai when I brought it home, but it is, it is, have to be a GoBot. So, uh, Porsche, it's Crossword. Um, he is part of the puzzlers combiner set so he's actually the i think he's the left arm of puzzler oh cool but you gotta find uh, how many pieces five five yeah we we talked about it in our in our gobot episode so okay oh yeah go back and and look a while and then i saw this big and I I got pictures I'll post too of uh, some stuff I saw. But this this one lady had some GI Joe uh, vehicles and stuff like that that were weren't complete. And up top of the the thing there was a uh, a tank that was it was a uh, transformer. So I brought it home. I bought it. Brought it home. Was looking at it. It is actually brawl. From this is from Transformers the movie from 2007. Um, this is the uh, leader class, and he's actually he's missing his cannons, his big cannon up front, and then his two smaller cannons on the bottom, and then he's got some um, missile things he has on his arms. He's missing those pieces too, and his head is missing. So I mean, I got a, I got it for really really cheap because it's missing some parts um but it took me it's still pretty cool yeah i mean i i figured out how to put robot mode pretty quick because it was already halfway there putting it back in the tank better since you figured out the arms on yeah the tank mode (laughs) yeah it took me a while yeah that's that's what's if you don't have the instructions on how to exactly uh twist and maneuver some stuff then it's kind of hard to figure out i finally figured out how to get the arms tucked under so everything will close up the okay. sides are close up so that's that's what's that's what's hard about these these newer uh transformers these more complex ones is you have to get it just right for everything to to snap close together to, to get um uh, vehicle mode so 
but uh but yeah so i picked that up it's pretty good pretty cool piece in tank mode if i can just find his uh his cannons um it looked pretty good uh like i said i might can come across a head somewhere eventually but if not uh, he's gonna stay in tank mode anyway so yeah uh, but yeah he's a, it's a big piece so that's pretty cool it's uh it's nice that you found that even though it wasn't complete still picked yeah. it up it's yeah kind of cool yeah um i found that our grocery store here has more hot wheels than any other store ever i don't think they sell to anybody but me uh, <laughs> and they're only batmobiles that they're selling to me i've 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 looked at I'm going to start moving them in the store and trying to put them all on one rack so that I can find that treasure. I'm still looking for that treasure hunt of the red <laughs> tuned Batmobile. So what, uh, what store is it? It's King Supers. So Kroger. Kroger. Okay. Kroger. Yeah. It's a Kroger. Yeah. Kroger's yeah. do carry. They're one of the bigger, uh, grocery store chains that have hot wheels. So, I mean, they have, they have, an, they have one end cap and then they've got a little section on a shelf and they've got another end cap and then they've got a bin full of cars and they've got like an entire aisle that has like, they've got so many freaking hot wheels. <laughs> yeah. There's, so, there's, we've got, uh, two Kroger's, no, three Kroger's that are kind of close in proximity. I mean, they're within 30, 40 miles of me. Um, <laughs> like where I don't know where there's, Kroger's are. There's around one, here. one that had one does have a lot of cars. The other one, um, has some, uh, one's got a lot, and then the other one has <laughs> doesn't that for some reason they're the only Kroger's I've ever seen that that doesn't really carry Hot Wheels. So, the, any yeah, kind lucky, of toy, lucky toy area, yeah, I like most of these others do. Uh, most of them do have, but in our area, Kroger's, like I said, there's there's like there's three within a 40 mile radius of us. And that's, and then you have to go further than that to even get another one. So, yeah, I, I have found a lot of uh, older Lego sets there too. Like they just don't sell that stuff that often. So yeah. Um, if you're, if you're looking for toys, you can't find them that aren't technically that old. Maybe go check out Kroger. Maybe they have some, right. Yeah. You know, hey. the hot, hot um, wheel hunters looking for hot wheel. They, they know that Kroger gets quite a bit. So they pretty much hit those pretty early when they, know that there's a shipment coming in so well apparently there's none in in here or at least no good stuff comes here i don't know <laughs> there you find john already I, picked through the good stuff well so i think megan really came on top of all this uh we spent what last weekend in dallas with karen for her birthday and for my birthday and stuff and and then again with michael and rainy went to canton and found even more stuff so she got a bunch of smurf stuffs from the dallas vintage toy store that we were up there and then from canton from michael and rainy that they picked up. So I'll have to get pictures of all that. Uh, and then of course we got, Oh yeah. I forgot. You've got the super friends. So you got some the more super friends. Uh, two of them going to Andrew. I'm going to keep the penguin oh. since he's already got I was a penguin. Say, keep the penguin. Then we'll all have a penguin. Yeah. yeah. We'll all have a penguin, yeah. but I got Robin and Batman right for Andrew, uh, Superman for Michael and Michael, I'm going to give you the little comic too. Okay. Since it's, Superman laid out. I haven't read it to figure out why he's laying on the ground and Wonder Woman's protecting him. But, uh, it's because he's got Brainiac. Brainiac's and that's the bad guy. And it yeah. looks like Wonder Woman's fighting Brainiac. So, yeah, But Superman's yeah. just laid out. I mean, he's Superman. Yeah, but Brainiac knows Superman's <laughs> weaknesses. So. Brain, Brainiac's a brain. <laughs> right. From the future. Then we also got... Uh, what else did I pick up? I picked up a couple more mini Lego figures. Uh, a Zelda and two more links, and then this one's the closest one a Beetlejuice. Oh, yeah, I had to have the Beetlejuice one. I mean, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Now, the yeah. Zelda ones and Link one, I have a couple of those already, but these were different, and we got them for a decent price. So, but the Beetlejuice one was the first one I picked out, so and then they just kept popping up more. <laughs> it's like, yeah. okay, <laughs> I think, but, I think, Rainy. Uh, Rainy had the best deal of the of the weekend as she found a, a stuffed uh, plush a e Eeyore, mm -hmm. and it was a Sears exclusive on the tag. It says Sears. It's it's <clears throat> it's pretty old. I, I don't know the exact year, but it's it's pretty old. Uh, you can tell by the way it's made and stuff like that. So yeah, she got a good deal on yeah. it. Though. Yeah, she got <laughs> she got a really good deal in. Uh, <laughs> 
my mute's having issues. Um, yeah, she got a real good deal on that. So I, I uh, she was she's ecstatic to find that. So nice. All right. Well, um, if you're out looking for toys, find the cool stuff, share them with us. Uh, we'd love to yeah, see let us know. what any, any listeners are finding out there. Um, and this week we're talking about these key pairs. So I don't know much about these. I don't think John and Michael knew much about these when we started talking to... until last week. I don't know any of us knew that these existed. <laughs> no, it's, so... I was showing Rainy what, what we were talking about. She goes, yeah, I know what those are. She goes, I never had any, <laughs> but I know what they are, what they are. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, they, I talked to some of the girls at work, and they're like, "We know what those are." I'm like, "Okay." They they are geared more towards towards girls, so yeah, yeah. So, all right, well, let's talk about let's rewind and talk about. All right, all right so keepers, toys that keep stuff. So <laughs> the end. The Thanks end. for listening. That's Except it. it's not it's not keepers; <laughs> it's key. First. Yeah, like yeah. K-U-I. So, um, so these were produced by Tonka from 1985 through 1992. Um, there was two different sizes of these in the, in the main toy line of this. Um, you had an adult size, which was a little larger size, and a baby size, which was smaller. Um, so the adult, the, the larger one, it, these were made of like a harder plastic um, it contained a door somewhere on it that that you can that could be unlocked or or locked or unlocked with the key that came with the figure, um, in which you could store something inside that that little container behind that door. So um, the babies, which were smaller, uh, it, it was made of a softer plastic, and then it had a slit in the back of it where you can store something in it. So you just kind of since it's softer, you can open it up and, and poke something down in there, and then it closes back up. So, um, so that's pretty much all. That's the gimmick of this line is, is just you can just stick stuff in there and store it or hide it or or whatever you want to do. Uh, it could be it could be anything as long as it fits inside there. Um, there was also lo- a larger plush toy line uh, that had pockets inside their their backs. Um, uh, the line also had three different play sets. Uh, the play sets were geared towards a smaller baby size. Um, And then there were several other accessories, such as books, bags, uh, duvet covers, uh, caps, or cups, and then jewelry. Um, So we'll go over, we'll we'll kind of glance over all that at the end of the, when we get done talking about this. But So, like I said, the main part of this line consisted of the adult keepers and the baby keepers. And there was three different series that was released. Um, so the adults, uh, they came with, uh, they came with a brush cause they all, they had some hair. So you brush, mm-hmm. you brush their hair. Um, of course they came with the key that you can unlock and lock the, the little compartment in their back or wherever they had it, um, <clears throat> on, on them. There was a key ring that you can put your key on. And then they came with one or two other accessories that came along with these um the babies uh, one other thing that the adults did come with was a finder which is a small little figure um that i guess and, and the figure was the same same figure with everybody uh but he had two different poses there was one where he had his his hand over his eyes like he's looking for something uh and then he had one where his his, his hand he's pointing um like he's pointing towards something <laughs> Um, I always he, say that's the uh, the uh, the the fill uh, point, like from um, the great great race or whatever, where they race around the world, and the guy's name is Phil that that does the thing. I can't remember the name of it, but um, but anyway, that's that's the fill the fill point is what we always say talk say so. Uh, uh, the Great Race, I think's the name of that show. Oh, the Great wow. Race. That's it. I was trying to think of it. I was like, is it what the is great the race? name of that? Yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, so the finder, like I said, he's just a little guy that uh, that looks, I guess he looks, I don't know what he looks like, really. A rabbit. Uh, maybe like a little rabbit or something. He's got a shell on his back, too. So, a rabbit with a shell, and he's got glasses, and... Yeah, so I don't, uh, I don't know exactly what kind of critter he is, but yeah. 
So if you're if you're watching our YouTube, you can see John's got a picture of them up there. Um, so the uh, the first series was released 85, 1985, 1986, um, and and all these figures they were different animals. So you had six different animal types in this first series. Um, so the first series, the difference between this and the second and third series, the first series they had short hair, uh, whereas second and third series they had longer hair uh, and colorful, different color hair. The The first series only had, you had one color and that was it. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the ladybugs or ladybirds. I don't, I guess. <laughs> ladybirds. It says ladybirds. I think they look like ladybugs. Um, the, uh, so they all had names. So the lady ladybugs, there was, uh, the uh, adult was was named Tango, uh, and then the finder that comes with it, his name is Twist Finder, and then the baby ladybug is named Taps. And they had uh, some of them did have different colors. Uh, let's see the uh, so this this has there's like an orange and peach top color for the first first one, and then the second on Tango and taps they, they kind of the the color scheme matches between the two that that kind of go together so you have like i said you have the adult and you have the finder that comes with the adult and then you have the baby that kind of that has the same scheme as the the adult so the ladybird or ladybug um when you when you open the the adult ladybug it's the back the wings like you see a ladybug open up that they open up or they and then they close so that's where you store stuff in the baby one like i said has they have little slits where you kind of squeeze it and opens up and you put things in like a coin purse type thing that uh if you remember those little plastic soft plastic that you would squeeze <laughs> yeah. and yeah the little rubbery ones yeah. in there that's what those are so uh but there's two different colors like like i said the first one was a orange peach color and then the second one was more of a, a pink and a yellow color was their, their colors. Um, so next we talk about is the kangaroos. There is, so the kangaroos, uh, they kind of have a, a baseball theme. Uh, so the, uh, in series one, so the series one the adult is called Hero. Um, he looks like a baseball player, um, has a baseball cap and a glove. Um, and then his the, the belly opens up like it, like the pouch on a kangaroo. That's where you store stuff in. And then the baby kangaroo has a uh, has a little pouch in his belly that you, you can squeeze and put stuff in. So it's just like a regular kangaroo with the, with the pouches. Um, and then uh, the the finder that comes with the, the adults, his name is a T-ball finder. <laughs> And he does have two different uh, colors. He's kind of a blue and red. And then the other one is a lavender purple color. So <clears throat> the uh, so that's that's the kangaroos yeah. for series one. Uh -huh. the, first one looks, the first one looks like he has a uh, chicken pox. Because <laughs> you can see the dots on the back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dot, well, I mean, they have purple dots on the second one. <clears throat> yeah, they're just the red looks like chicken pox. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just on his face, he's got like little freckles. Yeah, yeah that makes him look just like specifically that. that one. That, yeah, yeah, because they're red. Yeah. Um, and then the next one we have is pink. Is penguins? Is the next uh, uh, figure penguins? So this is uh, he has got. So the adult penguin is called keyboard, and then uh, there's several. He's got a couple of different color variations, black and white. And then he's got like a purple and yellow scheme. Um, and then his finder is named Hummer. And then the baby penguin is called Kazoo is his name. Kazoo. So um, and he's black and white uh, for the first series. Um, and this is one that, you know, it does. The penguin does have a series two release, but he doesn't have a. Um, he doesn't have a baby version in series two for some reason. It's one of those that doesn't have one. 
but the uh, but yeah, this one uh, is black and white for the first series. <clears throat> All right, so next we talk about uh, the next animal in this figure. In this is, is a snail. So the snail is called his name is or her name is Fancy. The uh, the finder that comes with with her is called Footloose Finder. And the baby for this that that goes along with this is called Pearl. And it's more of a pink and light pink colorway is what they got on this. Kind of almost like a kind of a strawberry shortcake type coloration on this. So and then the the fifth uh, fifth one for this is the swans. Is the swans? So the swans. The adult's name is is Princess. Uh, the uh, the finder that comes with the adult is named Perkins Finder, and then the baby is called Bell. And this one, the wings fold open, and where you can store stuff under the wings. Um, then we have oh, there you go. Yeah, there we go. Now you got some pictures. Um, so the next one we have is a was it swans uh, it's a tortoise so we'll look at the tortoise real quick and of course the tortoise has the shell is what opens up uh to store stuff in um so the um the uh the adult his name is sheldon sheldon (laughs) and the finder is nightlight finder and the baby that that's kind of goes with this is name is poke so and then that's the six that you have for series one um like i said the 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 finder comes with the adult and then the baby uh version of it is is a separate uh figure that you buy those separately so um so that's uh that's series one so series two, we'll move on to series two. This, is, this like I said, this is going to be a quick little, um, <clears throat> a quick little overview on, on these guys. There's not much to them. Um, wasn't no history or anything like that. So series two came out in 1987. Uh, so something different for these guys that had um, <clears throat> for series two releases, they had glittery eyes, and like I said earlier, they had the long <laughs> multicolored hair. So that's going to be how you can tell the difference between a series one and series two uh, version of these guys. So all six of the first series uh, came out in series two with the glitter eyes and the colored longer hair. Um, plus they had, they added six new animals. So uh, the original six came back as recolors of the first six. So they're all pretty much the same. Uh, there was two different, two different changes though. Uh, like I said, the kangaroo, uh, his name was Hero. Uh, when it was released in, in Series 2, they changed it to a girl girl kangaroo and switched the theme from baseball to tennis. So the girl had a tennis theme. Um, this one didn't have a – this is one of those few that didn't have a, uh, a baby to go along with it, so it was just the adult. And then the finder. Uh, the finder for – for the kangaroo, where'd it go? Hold on a second. Yeah, the finder for the kangaroo uh, was still just called Finder. It didn't have a name. Um, like the, the version, or series one was T-Ball Finder. Yeah. It had that baseball theme to it. Uh, the the series two with the girl, it didn't have a, it was just called Finder. There was no name to them. So... Uh, then the other thing that, that changed from Series 1 to Series 2 was the tortoise. Uh, it was also switched from a boy to- tortoise to a girl tortoise in Series 2 and was renamed me- <coughs> renamed Michelle. Uh, so they went along with like turtle-type names with Sheldon and then Michelle. If you want to look at it like that. Michelle. So, Michelle. Um, and then also the... the uh, the finder had a different name as well so the finder for the tortoise was a uh, night bright so they changed it from night light to night bright and then the uh the baby for series two for michelle 
was the same, kept the same name as Poke. So they didn't change the name on that one. So, okay. uh, so new additions they had for Series 2. Uh, there were some bears. So you had, uh, so the adult bear was called Brella here in the U.S., but they had a different name in, U- in the U.K. called Bonnie. They named him Bonnie over there. <clears throat> so you had Bella and then, like I said, uh, Bonnie. This one actually has, it's a bear sitting there, and she has an umbrella. Well, the back of the umbrella opens up, and you, that's where you store stuff in. So that's where they got the name Brella. That, um, that would that would make sense since uh, most bears don't have somewhere to hide. So, like, store something. Yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> be kind of weird storing in her belly or something i guess I yeah I mean, that's a kangaroo yes yeah, so that's for the kangaroo yeah. it's an oddly shaped kangaroo <laughs> uh, and then the um the the finder also had two different names the bouncer was what he was called here in the u.s and then over in uk they called him posy so that's why they've got two posy. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> The uh, the baby actually kept the same name and and everywhere uh, it was released. So his name was Honey for the for the baby bear. So, uh, so the next animal figure that came out was cats. Uh, so the adult cat was named Cassie, and the finder that came with Cassie was uh, Tom Tompkins finder, and then the baby was named Tabitha. So. All right, all these DQ it. things are starting to make me hungry. <laughs> the little ads that they keep popping up. Yeah. John's getting commercials. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so next you have, so there was a dog, dogs that were released for, for the Series 2. Uh, the adult's name was Frisky. And uh, the dog has a, I didn't even look what the cat had, but the dog has a basket. Uh, and the basket uh, is what opens up the basket has like flowers and stuff. <clears throat> the basket opens up, and that's where you store your your product, your whatever you're putting in in it. So, the cat looks like it has a like a a bag, like a purse or a backpack or something that's holding. Okay, it. okay, yeah, I didn't even look at the picture on that yeah. and say that, but um, so the like I said, the adult is named Frisky. The uh, finder is called Tumbler Fis- T- Tumbler Finder, and then the baby is called Bobble. Is the name of the baby. Uh, so the next one you have is ponies. There's little ponies. So the adult pony is named Diamond. The uh, the finder that comes with the with with Diamond is called Dash Finder, and then the baby pony is called Glitter. So Glitter. In this one, this one's got a little saddle set up on them, and that's what opens up the saddle, and you store stuff in, underneath the saddle. So. All right, so the next one you have a, a rabbit. Rabbits. The uh, the adult rabbit is called Joyful. The uh, the finder that comes with it is called Bowtie Finder, and then the baby is called Blossom. So, and this one the rabbits the, their bellies open up, and that's where you store stuff inside the bellies. So that one's weird. So, yeah. Uh, see the uh, next, the last one, the last figure that was put out uh, was called it was a squirrel. Uh, the adult is called is named Frilly. Uh, the finder that comes with the adult is named Peppy Finder, and then the baby is called uh, Scamper. So the uh, on this one is the tail. It's got a big bushy tail where the tail opens up, and you store stuff in the tail. Um, and the same thing with the baby. The tail has a little slit that you open up, and pretty much all the babies have the slits in their in their back or on something like uh, on the backside. So yeah, that's where you store things on them. So, so that's the other six. So like I said, there's there's twelve different animals in this within series one and series two. Uh, now series three that came out, um, it was released from 1990 to 1992. Uh, these were now released by Kenner, and then only only for the European market. So we didn't see any of these over here in the U.S. Um, they were all adult figures, so they didn't have any baby figures with this as, uh, on the on the series three. Um, and then also that were added were music keepers and jewelry keepers. Uh, so that's pretty much what this whole line is: is those there. 
Um, so there was no new figures released, just recolors of of the swan, the pony, and the rabbit. So that's the only four that you saw come out with uh, with three colors from series one and series two. Um, the pony also came in a new pose as well. So you get different kind of different poses. Uh, you get the, the original pose was just, he was just, the pony was just standing there. Uh, and the new pose actually has the pony standing there has a, like a foot lifted. Uh, like he's kind of posing for a picture or something like that. It's uh, a little bit different uh, stance on that. Uh, so the swan that came out was a music one. So when you open up the, the swan, to put stuff in when you open it up it starts playing a little music um and then the ponies there was uh, there was a music pony there was a gold pony and a silver pony um but the still but the key because one thing i didn't say earlier was all the keys actually have the names of, of the of the adult figures all written on it <clears throat> since the pony was named diamond uh <coughs> it was still still said diamond on the on the key but it was a gold pony and silver pony is what was listed on the box, the packaging. So it didn't say diamond uh, as a name. It was just gold pony or silver pony. And then also there was another another pony that, that was a jewelry pony. This one actually came with, it's pretty much the same as the others, but it came with a, a heart jewelry box with a ring in it. And the little kid, whoever had it, could wear the ring or whatever. And then they store the ring inside the pony. So... Uh, the rabbit uh, was a jewelry one as well. This one came with a heart jewelry box and a ring as well. So, so that's that's pretty much those uh, the the main lines. Those the three series. So I so said there's not much to them. <clears throat> They're just little figures that you use key to open up and store stuff in, or the baby ones, you, your softer plastic you can squeeze and drop things in a little slit to to hold it or or take it out, and then uh, they come with the little finder with the adults so pretty simple but, pretty easy little yeah it's, it's not, not a big huge line i mean it was it was kind of i guess for, it was kind of a big deal back then um with the girls and stuff like that so i mean they're not that they're not bad they're, they're interesting little toys yeah little, yeah little things yeah and like i said tonka it's, tonka did series one and series two and then kenner uh, because they, because Tonka kind of merged with Kenner um, by 1990, they, Kenner was the ones that released others, and it was just European market. So those are harder to find are the music and the jewelry ones, because uh, like I said, they were only reduced released in uh, Europe, the European market. So this is this is Tonka trying to you know make something for the girls. They're making the the yellow dump trucks for the boys. They got to make something for the girls. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah um so the plush i said there was plush ones those were uh they were just uh, stuffed animal versions of the uh, series one dolls or series one figures so they were the adult keepers that were produced in the plush series uh so you had hero which was the kangaroo uh sheldon which was the tortoise tango the ladybug uh keyboard the penguin fancy the snail and princess the swan so that's where you get your your plush and these all had little pockets that you could you store stuff in. So, um, so that's that's what those are. Uh, and then the play sets. We'll talk about the play sets real quick. Um, they were these were made just for the baby keepers. There was a secret stroller, uh, which had which was a stroller that came. It sat on top of a little thing with 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 uh, look like flowers and stuff. But the stroller would come off. And then the key that, that with it would open up a false bottom in the stroller. So you can store stuff inside the stroller and lock it back up. Nobody even know it was there. Um, Maybe down in the stroller. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then. Uh, I was thinking, then, John. <laughs> and then there was a, a treasure bed. And it was just a, a little bed that your, your baby would, your baby would sit on. Uh, but when you, you got the key and you unlocked it, the mattress would open up and you would store stuff inside the mattress. So you store your money and all that is under the mattress. So, uh, then the third one was a hideaway home. Uh, so the key opened the top roof, uh, which 
it kind of looks like a flower pot and the flowers were are part of the roof uh and then you would use the key to open that up and the flowers would <coughs> would separate and you can see inside the the pot is what it looked like so and your baby keeper can sit down inside there or whatever you can lock it up inside um so that was that was all of them uh the hideaway home was also called tree the tree house i don't know it doesn't look like a tree house i don't know why they called it that but because uh, it looks like a flower pot with flowers on it uh but this was the hardest one to find because it was the last it was added towards the end of the line and they were harder to they're harder to find so there wasn't as many of those made so um Let's see. And then the last thing we're going to talk about this is the accessories. There may be more accessories to this line than there are actual products to this line. So, um, <laughs> like I said, they had some keepsakes that you can actually use. You can store those inside your keepers, keeper figures. <clears throat> um, they're just little little things that had the picture of the tortoise or the snail or the, uh, the ladybug or whatever on them. And you would just drop them inside there and lock them up. Uh, then you had, um, you had some other little key rings and bracelets that you could wear. Uh, there's, um, some more bracelets there's a necklace some necklaces you can wear um some other little pendants and stuff that you can make a uh a little like a charm bracelet with you can do that or put it on your key ring that comes with your keeper um there was some small little storybooks that came with these uh or that came out um there was uh storybooks with cassette tapes that was a big thing back in the 80s is is having yeah. little storybooks with cassettes you think uh, these would have worked with cassette, teddy, cassette. Teddy i bet you could probably put put one in your your teddy ruxpin so yeah you think, you think it would actually make his mouth move correctly i don't know uh, it might i mean it's <clears throat> or does it even matter i don't know my teddy doesn't work so i, I don't know I, I never had saying, one. Have you, actually, have you tested so. him? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We put batteries in. He doesn't work. Doesn't work. Um, yeah. Uh, they had storybooks, comics. Yeah, they had a little comic book. Uh, they had lots of books. <laughs> yeah, lots of books. There was games and puzzles that came out. Um, they had little bags that a couple of them looked like the actual <laughs> figures. You had like a, a Sheldon purse. That had a little thing that you, little handles you can carry it with, and you could put stuff inside of it. You had a fancy that, purse, which that tango was the looks a little derpy. Yeah, to Tango, which is the the uh, ladybug, and Fancy, which is the snail, and then you had a couple other purses that just had pictures of the figures on them. Yeah, um, yeah. The Tango is a backpack, so yeah, he's a, yeah backpack. Yeah. There was um, some bubble bath bottles that, you know, you pull the head off and you got the bubble bath in there. Uh, they had a clock. Um, I know I said something about a duvet set. They had that. Uh, waste paper bin, a little trash can. Uh, there was some lamps and some little tins that you can pop the lid off and store stuff inside there. Uh, some cups and mugs and placemats and little trays that was another thing from the 80s There's little tv trays that were little little metal trays uh you had a bunch of stationary items uh stickers and sticker albums uh bookmarks so yeah they had all different board kind of little things that a board game you, go, John. you should get you a board game john a board game yeah there was <laughs> a finders finders keepers game is what it was called yeah, yeah. so uh but yeah there was, <laughs> wait yeah. are you sure that's not keepers finders game i know it, it says fun. finders keepers game but it's finders keepers game <laughs> we'll say it that way yeah so this it's not really a big exciting line and there's not much to it um 
or it's not exciting to us, I guess. It's, it's, it's yeah, me. <laughs> it's very, it's very interesting. Like they've got a lot of stuff. I can see these being kind of collectible. Yeah. Um, by the right person. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, Rainy says right she there. she's knew she knew about these, but she never had them. Uh, so, um, but yeah, it's just something that. <sighs> It's not very exciting. That's what I'm saying. So, <laughs> well then, we'll, well, go ahead. Let's rank these, Michael. Where are you putting them? Um, I scrolled to the bottom of your list so that you know. You know, this may be. I'm gonna put these under Mangalore. This is all I'm, the way at the bottom. Yeah. Wow. At least Mangalore is, is, is Mangalore's. I get see Mangalore is more as a boy toy. These are girl, girly girl toys is what they're kind of right. focused to yeah so it's John, uh it doesn't excite so yeah it's going on the bottom of my list i i'm i'm gonna make a, a remark about that what you just said so john we'll get to you i know i i i'm gonna do the same and put them right underneath manglore but that's <laughs> the bottom of my list so. <laughs> okay so same reasoning john well i mean we didn't have them but i I, I, I'm not I'm not, not going to knock on them because of that. Uh, Monty G, I yeah, I just didn't get. And then baby face dolls, I'm sorry, they creep me out too much. Well, so I like I like Monty G's. Oh, yeah, uh, baby face dolls, <laughs> baby face dolls at least had something to them. Um, yeah, I, I just I don't know. Yeah, I just it just doesn't so, do it for me. So I, the fact that both of you put them under Mangalore. It's funny because I'm actually putting mine above Bangalore okay. for one simple reason. The gimmick <laughs> for these works it's better than Mangalore. <laughs> yeah. <that's> Mangalore's <laughs> gimmick didn't work. No. And I'm not saying that it just didn't like, it didn't kind of work for them that, you know, it failed. No, no, no. The whole work. gimmick, it didn't work. <laughs> they still sold them and somehow people, I don't know. So it didn't work. So these, are going on a couple of them, tear them apart, and then try to put them back together, and then go buy another one <laughs> just so you tear it apart again. <laughs> it, it worked, worked a little bit. It worked a little bit. Now, if you kept doing it over and over, it wouldn't work. Now, but you know, yeah. you know what did work? Putting a key in a little snail and turning the key worked every time. I mean, unless you broke the key, then it might not work. I don't know, but yeah, that's the point. So I'm going above Mangalore. So all at the bottom of our list. Um, and well, the at least mine and yours match dolls, up in the same spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but at least like the baby face dolls were just creepy to me. So yes. those are standing at the bottom. Easy, uh, easy line for us to, to rank. I mean, still not a bad toy. Uh, yeah. Tonka didn't do anything bad here. It's just not our cup of tea. The ladies probably would have ranked these up at the top, right underneath uh, Polly Pocket. Yeah, maybe right? you can maybe mm -hmm. you can store your Polly Pocket in them. I don't know if they were that big. <laughs> that, would be, that would be. You can that would store be... your. Yeah, actual really, Polly, not the actual yeah, whole say, thing. You just Polly. Fingers yeah, Polly out of them, but not that, yeah. the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah. I mean, they were. Yeah, there's not much else I can say about this this line. So, yeah. Um, I mean, hey, they're they're interesting little line for the for the girls, and you know, that's it. Yeah. Don't break my Batman, John. <laughs> it's the only one that works. <sighs> Good. At least one something works. <laughs> so um all right well thanks for listening i mean getting all the history on these keepers i do one Not thing i do like you. about these these lines that we don't really know much about you kind of learn something i didn't know these were out there um no. and i really enjoy that i really enjoy learning you know just other toy lines besides the ones that we all know and the ones that we had so uh, a lot a lot of fun stuff here um thanks for listening uh go check out our social medias um, John Mitch Mall at the top of the, top of the uh, show, but it's basically Toy Rewind Podcast. Go find it. If it looks for like a black background with, is it red? Oh, yeah, with uh, white letters, little red stuff. That's us. Um, follow us. We'd love to see what kind of retro toys that you have. Um, also, um, go over to Cross Streams Media and you can drop us a voicemail. Tell us what you think about the podcast. Tell us what you what toys you had, what toys you'd like to hear more about. Michael would love to look them up and get all the history on them. He tells me all the time this is what he, he loves to do this his whole week. If he didn't have to work, he would do this all the time. No. I, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I got other things to do. But, but yeah, it's uh, 
it is pretty interesting when you start looking up these these toy lines you're all uh yeah this is pretty cool seeing and it kind of snowballs into other things too when you start looking them up but it did we have we have quite a few that have snowballed like like that like you, you see one line and then bam you're like looking at five or six lines down the yeah. whole yeah. thing and seeing and they're all ones that you hadn't actually like didn't know anything about or whatever so um yeah it's a lot of or or more exciting than this line so <laughs> yeah, this one's just a small line. It's just not, you know, yeah, so it's there. So, yeah. Um, again, thanks for listening. Um, hopefully, you enjoyed and you learned a little bit about it. Um, I didn't miss anything, did I, guess? Uh, I don't no. think so. I think you got everything. I think okay. you got everything. Yeah, so. Because I felt like I was missing something, but then I was like, no, we already did the ranking, so we're good. <laughs> I don't have my notes. Final so. bit. That's it. Yeah. So um, on <laughs> behalf of the brothers, for this, yeah. <laughs> on behalf of the brothers at the Toy Rewind podcast, play on. You've been listening to the Toy Rewind podcast. Follow and join in the conversations at toyrewindpodcast.com.